Klasse, welkom terug jy twee. Dankie. Right. Um, wat jy gedoen in die breek, Christian? Uh, Bede goed af, was goed af al. Um, wat ek nog doen? Soe paar goedies. <laughs> Hallo, wacht, wat sê jy doen? As jy dit kan doen in 5 minuut, dan wonder ek wat jy in die hele dag kan doen. Ja, so baie. <laughs> Motorfiets is een batterijen charge, ek kan opsom, ek kan echt nie maak as of ek werk nie, ek grap. Ek voel me baie slecht, al wat ek gedoen het is om uh, buiten die eend te sêf, so ek is um, nou nie so kindig soos jylle wat die goeders betreft, like het my nie maak. Aan geval, luister mense, kom ons sluit vir die dag af met die laaste 15 minuten, um, what I want to share with you now on screen is um, why it's important for marketers to understand or consider the age of the customers that they um, are targeting. It's, it's important um, because um, a person's needs change and it's directly linked and age obviously is, is, is um, directly linked to the different phases in a person's life cycle. Um, you are born, um, you're a toddler, you become a teenager, you become a young adult and an adult later and then uh, elderly. And as you go through all the different cycles of your life, um, initially, no worries, you're in school, um, life's absolute joy. Um, later on, um, you get involved in the relationship, you marry, you start a family, um, your needs change. Um, I can remember one of the best vehicles I've ever had in my life, um, and it gave me a lot of miles uh, was my Ford Bantam button. And I'm so disappointed that they actually stopped making the Ford Bantam. Um, I did my comrades marathon to them. Um, my wife was, um, I was taking um, turns to, to drive and the other one was sleeping in the back of the bucky on the way down to Durban for the race. Um, my dogs enjoyed it. And then all of a sudden, I got to that point I was still in love with my bucky and it was still giving me good miles, but then it was an addition to the family. And you cannot put a baby car seat um, in a bucky. You can't put a, a baby in the back of the bucky either. And either my wife and myself will sit in the back of the bucky and other two are sitting in front of the cabin. So people, our lives <laughs> change. Um, as a result of those changes of the different cycles we go through, our needs change. And for you as a marketer, we've said at the beginning last year already in business marketing, your job is to ensure that your customers are happy, that they return and buy again and again and again and become a loyal supporter of your brand or your product. Um, if you can create through your marketing of efforts and follow up customer service, a loyal customer, your business is wet. That's 80-20 rule, 80%, 20% rule. The 20% are the ones who are loyal regardless of what you do and what bad um, publicity your business gets. They support you. And I think this is what we're trying to establish. If you have, at a very early age, as a teenager, have become a supporter of a particular brand um, and you were happy with it, the chance that you will continue as you go through your different um, planes in your life um, to support that brand is very good. And that's why um, um, it's important for marketers to, to consider the age uh, and also um, obviously for other reasons which we'll, we'll get to now. Um, the <laughs> age composition of a population is also important. And I think firstly with challenges like A, um, age a number of years ago, uh, it almost sort of wiped it as a, a generation in, in, in some countries that was um, hardest hit by the AIDS um, pandemic. Um, and the fact is that uh, we're going to experience something similar now with, with, um, with COVID. Uh, the fact that the majority of deaths of COVID-19 virus are people over the age of 55 or between the ages of 55 and um, and say 80, um, it, it wipes out a, a whole section of a particular society. Um, and, 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 and those are things that we obviously have to consider um, 
going forward from here as, as, as future um, as future marketers uh, because um, it's it's a it's a reality um, and I think for us to understand it a bit clearer I would like to go through the different um, subcategories or subcultures of age uh, we all know them um, and we all have heard of the baby boomers and the generation X, Y, and Z. Um, and yeah, um, there's, I think even um, there's even another um, generation has been added now. I'm not sure if you know of that. Um, if you don't, um, go do some research and we talk about it next time, but it's not five generations anymore. Um, they're six now. They are six. And it's quite interesting. And why these things are interesting is not just from a marketing point of view, but some of the challenges that businesses are faced with now is that you've got people of a particular generation. Let's say, for instance, you've got a baby boomer who is now between 55 and 73 years old, established in his business. CEO of the company, director of the company, um, owns a couple of companies, and that person now has to employ millennials and even Generation Z employees into his country. They have a complete different um, uh, generation Y and Z have complete different um, way of doing things. So it's not just um, the behavior of the customer. And the effect it has on their buying patterns and how marketers market their products, it is also has an impact on how businesses need to change their strategy internally because the employees are from basically four different generations. Um, interesting, and I'm not going to go into greater detail. The next number of pages, people, I can almost say what I would like you to go through in the slides is individually we had all of these different subcultures um, explained. And that's why I'm just running through the slides. I want you to, um, you're not gonna um, in the exam get a, um, a question that says, okay, right, explain the five or six different um, subcultures um, of age as a factor that impacts um, on the decision making of the customer. It's not going to, you're not going to get a question like that. It's important, however, that you, from a point of being informed and just to ensure that you improve your general knowledge on the subject of age uh, and to, in the back of the mind, keep um, all the information that you have to consider the behavior of different generations when you design your marketing strategy for a business and for a specific product. Um, also visit and have a look at all those different video um, links that I have included in the slides. And for me, importantly, however, uh, is more to focus on the last two slides of this chapter in conclusion, and that is to look at specifically multi-generational marketing. The example I've just given you now about the company uh, management who have to change their strategy because they're employing people from three, four different generations. Um, and the company or the staff dynamics is going to be affected by that um, or can be affected by that if it's not properly dealt with by management. Um, is, is to understand from a marketing point of view, and that's where you will find yourself, that there are certain aspects that you have to realize and common mistakes that are often made when we market to a multi-generation or do multi-generational marketing. Multi-generational marketing refers to the unique needs of individuals within more than one specific generation group. I've given you the example previously of the three generations who live under one roof in a household, for instance grandparents, parents, and children. Um, all have different needs. All have different needs because they're all in a different cycle of their life. Marketers must understand that the differences between the different generations 
um, do exist, but that they cannot therefore apply the approach and the strategy across the board to all of these different generations. They have to be unique for each of the generations. And therefore, um, on that final slide of this particular chapter, there are certain guidelines that have been um, identified. And this is of greater importance to me um, for assessment um, purposes, test exams, um, and, and even assignments um, on this particular module. And that is to understand that each generation has different backgrounds and values and characteristics and lifestyles, and they have to be treated as separate generations as such. You could almost say within a particular market segment, we need to have different generational um, sub-segments as well. You've got to re recognize that there are different behavioral patterns for each of these generations um, and um, it's based on their uniqueness and, and we cannot um, we cannot ignore that fact. We all also have to be aware of how the target generations um, view the world. Um, my son's opinion on a particular matter is different to mine because we're from two different generations. And we both are equally correct in our opinions because of um, our backgrounds and um, our experiences, uh, which is different. Um, some of the modern music that, um, that they listen to, however, uh, I still cannot understand. Firstly, if I can't recognize the, the, the word, um, the song doesn't appeal to me. And secondly, if I cannot repeat it as an as a, as a interesting and a, and a nice tune, um, you know what? Um, yes. I just, and I think there's, there's, there's currently the uh, last couple of days on, on KFM in the mornings um, on the breakfast show they've been going on about the Doop Doop song and, and um, you guys have probably heard about it. Again, it's one of those, um, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those interesting um, versions of or interpretations or how different generations see the music of um, the modern day uh, teenager and uh, young adult. Um, right at the bottom is probably the most important um, guideline for us to remember and that is to avoid what we call generational myopia and that is where um, we are short-sighted enough to apply um, the values and the attitudes of our own generation on the development of strategy for another generation. So when you find yourself in a position as a marketing manager, part of a marketing team that has to now um, design a marketing strategy for your company or develop a marketing strategy for your company, um, very often we find ourselves that we are caught in, in that short-sightedness of applying what, yeah, but in our days, this is the way it was done. Yes. It was and it was fine but you know what if you are going to market to a specific new generation unfortunately you do have to accommodate their needs their values their beliefs um, and forget about yours you're still entitled to yours and yours are still fine but not from a marketing point of view um, any questions at this stage um, guys at, uh, at the end of, of, of chapter six topic two um, how does this sit with you? Um, or should we rather allow five minutes or so at the start of the next session next week to um, to um, to address any specific questions you have? Or heet jy a vraag of Afsou Marie? Nee, meneer. Jy loop okay. kan. Dit is redelijk baie eenvoudig. Dit is nie ingewikkeld. Ek dink as ons baie belangrike gouwe reels toepas, en dit is om eerste instantie in ons dag, dagelijkse leven meer um, uh, die Engelse woord is observant te wees. Uh, ja. Meer oplettend te wees. Dan gaan baie van hierdie dinge wat ons nou gedoen het, gaan vir ons logisch wees. Dit is nie sin, ok, ja. die gewere is iets anders nie. Um, dit maak vir jou sin, want 
dit is, um, jy is bewus daarvan, en dit is hoekom ek altyd um, vir my studenten gesê het, en ek is so jammer, ons kan nie meer op campus um, wees nie, want vir hierdie spesifieke groep, um, wat ek vir jou gehad het, vir hierdie vak wat julle nou by my het, um, het ons op een dag, op een wekelikse basis, het ons a, a general knowledge koos gedoen, um, vir, um, vir, 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 en alles so klein prijs, jy weet, dan kan jy nou jou tokkie, ja. wat ek al, iets klein, maar die feit van die saak is, dit het jylle geforce, of dit het die groep geforceer om nie net te gaan die hele tyd op, um, op, op Facebook en, um, en, en al hierdie platforms rond search vir, en Facebook is elke geval ouwe mense, elke geval, um, om, om, daar die inlichting wat baie keer feit nieuws is, um, uh, of anderse opinies is, um, te gaan, um, gaan versamel nie, maar om um, te gaan uitvind werkelijke nieuws, um, wat, wat consequent is, en wat oor een weie gebied strek, oor een weie veld strek, want en hoe meer mens, hoe, hoe meer mens lees, en hoe groter en hoe weie die verskynheid van, 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 um, van belangstellings is, um, hoe beter is jy ingelig, the more knowledgeable you are, um, the more knowledgeable you are, the more powerful you are, but, um, if you know that a tomato is a fruit, you have knowledge, but you have wisdom if you know not to put a tomato in a fruit cellar. Ja. Dit is waar ons baie keer verkeerd gaan en ons, um, ons, ons, ons begin al reeds op die achtervoet, omdat ons algemene kennis is nie op standaard nie. Um, you need to improve on your general knowledge and not just your subject knowledge because once you have in, increased your general knowledge on a wide variety of subjects, you will see that actually a lot of them apply to the specific fields that you are currently studying. And you have a better understanding of the current fields and subjects that you are studying because you can apply the um, concepts that you learn on your course to the knowledge, because of your knowledge, to um, reality, because you have that great general knowledge. As ons nie enige vraag het nie, dan gaan ek vir julle sê, mense, dit is weer na week, hierdie keer is daar nie een storm op wat nie. Hopelijk kan jy die baie keer bykie, um, kan jy bykie gaan vrappe oopmaak, uh, Christian? Bykie vraag ons hoe toe dan, ja. Yes, maar as ons wil sê, nee, daar is nie iets so slechte weer en net slechte kleren, nee. So, um, dit is maar nog steeds in die piek. Um, die spoed wat in ek draag, en die spoed wat in jy hebt, baie keer is die verschillende dinge, het kan nogal fout raak op jy van die ijsde ver, so maar mag genier het in elke geval. Kom jy die plannen vir die naweek? Ja, ja meneer, ek gaan bykie strand toe. Lekker man, jy mag ons nou weer op die strand ja. wees te gehoor. Wat nou? Jy mag op die strand wees, die is daar wat ek nou weer gehoor. Ja. ja. Okay. Natuurlijk, wat ga jy my die water in kom halen, gaan ek om laag. <laughs> Luister nie meneer, um, ek moet net sê, Annika het gevraag, ek moet vir meneer sê, um, sy dood in die familie gehad, en uh, ek wist, dat ek ons nie vir daar bijgewoon het. Nee, ek verstaan dit, en so sê, weer in, as life happens, en we don't ja. always know what we don't know, en uh, dankie dat jy dit deel, dit is altyd belangrijk vir my, um, jylle welstaan, dit is altyd belangrijk vir my, en ek denk as, um, ja, as, as deel, van die, deel van die pad dat ons saam loop is om, um, om mekaar sy situasies uh, in acht te neem, en kom ons sê, um, ja, dan kan, ons, dan kan ons ook beter voorbereid is, om mekaar help ons, waar het nodig is. Ja, ja, nee, dat is recht, ek, ek laat weet maar net, want um, sy het gevraag, kom net vir meneer inlig, en as sy weet meneer wat aan. Ek wil jou, en wat meneer wat ervan al weg, he? Ek wil amper sê, maar dit sal tong in die kies wees, dit moet amper iets soos daai traumatisch wees, om daar om nie in die kiel te neem. Ja, dit, dit, ja. So ek het, ja. Het, het kan nie iets goed wees. <laughs> maar jylle genie die naweek, um, as jy deze, stay safe. Dankie meneer, selfde. Jylle volgende week. Hou die, hou die blink aan die boos. Enige kan is blink. Hou <laughs> 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 <laughs>